Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Fryman, the Chief of Hepatobiliary and Pancreatic Surgery at St. Joseph Medical Center here in Towson, Maryland. We are continuing our medical tutorial Whipple procedure series. Today's medical tutorial is on pyloric preservation, or as some places call it, mini Whipple. And the question is, is, it, is pyloric preservation or this mini Whipple procedure better than the standard Whipple procedure? So just a quick review as to what we're really talking about. Um, I don't like the term mini Whipple because it really implies to the public, to the consumer, uh, that it's really that much more mini, uh, which it's not. Um, let me draw the stomach here. This is the stomach, and the stomach has a pyloric valve right here, pyloric valve, before it enters the, uh, the duodenum. So the, the pyloric valve uh, is a pressure valve and, this, and it opens to release food after it's been mixed in your stomach. Uh, this portion of the stomach is called uh, the antrum and, and this is called the body. In a standard Whipple procedure uh, the surgeon actually removes um, the antrum of the stomach in, you know, in addition to the head of the pancreas, which is here. Um, and removing this extra piece of antrum is, is not a significant amount uh, of more work, may, maybe 10 minutes at most. Um, and it really isn't that, that much of your stomach. It's anywhere from 20 to 30 percent of your stomach. <laughs> Um, so, so that's really the, the difference when we talk about the pyloric preservation Whipple is it's when the whole stomach is preserved including this pyloric valve. So the only, the only real difference and like I said this is a mini, uh, the mini Whipple and the standard Whipple have, are so similar with uh, you know it's such little differences that it's kind of crazy that uh, some centers make a big deal out of it. So essentially if, if you preserve the uh, stomach and pylorus the the reconstruction as I've shown in different videos uh, the pancreas may be here and then the biliary system here and then you know the uh, stomach is placed back in continuity with the intestinal tract uh, in a similar fashion. And the, the theoretic advantage of having the pyloric channel here is that the pancreatic and biliary contents don't reflux uh, into the stomach. That's certainly one of them. But they continue down uh, their merry way into the small intestine. The other theoretic advantage of preserving uh, the stomach or the antrum of the stomach um, is that there may be better digestion of food. Um, the antrum does have a function. Um, it, that it helps actually uh, mix the food back and forth between the body uh, and the antrum. And not until the food is, is more liquefied does the pyloric valve uh, relax and allow the food to exit the jejunum. Um, theoretic advantages of removing the antrum are that the acid load from the stomach is decreased and that there may be less uh, ulcer formation because of the acid in, in this uh, area. The, the other problem that I'm, I, I alluded to or mentioned is that some of these um, contents without the pyloric valve can reflux into the stomach. Uh, and if you have poor motility of your stomach, you can get um, you know, bile reflux esophagitis. So if, if a pyloric preservation Whipple is not done or not performed, the antrum of the stomach is, is removed and then there's a staple line here and uh, most surgeons will make uh, an opening like this and the anastomosis is, is sutured in this fashion. Um, because there is no valve there can be reflux of, of bile and pancreatic uh, fluid into the stomach. Uh, other ways 
uh, of reconstructing it if a standard Whipple is done is with a Roux limb where the biliary pancreatic limb is actually um, downstream um, from this anastomosis. In other words, this this portion would be actually sutured uh, you know, 30 to 40 centimeters down into this area here, bypassing um, some bypassing the stomach and um, therefore avoiding bil uh, bile and pancreatic fluid that, that going into the stomach. So the ultimate question is, uh, well, which you know, which technique is is better? Is there any any difference? Um, the be the best thing to do is to you know, is to review the literature. Um, there are some non-retrospect there are some retrospective studies rather that show that the nutritional status uh, may be better um, with pyloric preservation. Uh, we we at St. Joseph Medical Center tend to use pyloric preservation uh, because the operation is a little bit easier uh, and because uh, less uh, bile reflux. Uh, uh, delayed gastric emptying or gastroparesis is common uh, after uh, Billy, after Whipple surgery. Um, so the only level level one evidence um, entails looking at not retrospective uh, data, but prospective prospective uh, data. Um, and there is a multi-center prospective randomized trial that was published in around 2004 to 2005. Um, this study was uh, published in the Annals of, of Surgery uh, and it was entitled uh, Pylorus Preserving Pancreatic Odulodenectomy versus Standard Whipple Procedure, a Prospective Randomized Multicenter Analysis of 170 Patients. The conclusions of the study uh, were that uh, there was no difference uh, in operative time, blood loss, hospital stay, morbidity, or even incidence of delayed gastric uh, emptying. Uh, there was a marginal difference in post-operative weight loss in favor, ironically, of the standard Whipple and not uh, pyloric preservation. Um, so, if if um, if you if you as a consumer become wrapped up in this uh, mini Whipple or pyloric preservation, the, the the reality of it is that it really is uh, not a major factor uh, that should go into uh, a surgeon's uh, discussion. Uh, when it comes to Whipple surgery. I thank you for, uh, for listening to this medical tutorial uh, and I will continue to uh, uh, give more medical tutorials on the Whipple procedure.